Breaker here. Welcome back to a brand new episode. So today, since I'm not able to be playing Mountain Blade Bannerlord right now, uh, I'm doing a mod review. Uh, so these are the most promising mods that I've seen that have come out since uh, Bannerlord came out in early access. Um, if you don't know why I can't play, my save file is corrupted, and uh, I don't know how to get it back. So. I, e I emailed Tail Worlds and they're gonna get back to me immediately. And so, yeah. So, there are mu multiple mods that are looking really promising. The first, like, mod pack in general is the Stories of Calradia mods. Stories of Calradia uh, allows you to play as the rulers, of they allow you to play as each rulers in. Um, Mountain Lake Warband, so this is Monchug, here's Unkid, you can play as Unkid, the ruler of the Asurai. You can play as Regia. Uh, Monchug. Uh, and I believe that's it for right now. The next mod that I really want to show you is the Enter Castle and Town with a Horse. Uh, so that's, it's really easy, it's really simple to, to download. Um, and it's very useful because like you can you can come in using a horse and you don't have to go through all that hassle of finding a horse and needing to ride one. So that's just really useful to ev uh, to everyone. Here's a, also a great mod. Uh, the, this mod is called Just Let Me Play. Uh, it is it it literally just gets rid of um, all of the stuff. It gets rid of all of the all of the garbage things. Um, that you need to do to make it your own kingdom. Uh, the quest is gone, the main quest is gone, um, and it's very easy to rebuild your clan and create a kingdom now. So, it's all very simple, but as it says right here, uh, there might be errors since the, the change in the game code, so use it at your own risk. Here's a great mod. If you want to just if if you ha are having a tough time, like you can't get out of somewhere and you just like have to resort to cheating, here's the developer console. Uh, if you lost all your money by accident, I don't know how. Here's the developer console. It just adds a developer console. Here is the character export import. So if you remember going into your uh, Mountain Blade Warband, you could export and import your characters, like, to make an 1,000 stat person, and it's really fun. That's all That's all this really does. You can also add money. You can't add renown, I don't believe, though. And finally, for the last one, if you're struggling with, uh, with hideouts, and you really just want to get it over with, I recommend getting the hideout player party limit. It is so useful. If you want to bring like a hundred people into the hideout, boom, easy. You you get to. And if you're having trouble like how I did in one of my streams, you can just take them out really quickly and just win hideouts. So that's all I have to show you today. I'm um, sorry that we don't actually get gameplay because stupid Bannerlord's being a memory leak issue. So thanks all you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.